Nowadays, every major luxury automaker has at least a few SUVs in their lineup. The BMW X3 was introduced a little over 10 years ago and was for someone who wanted an SUV but not such one as big or pricey as an X5. Today, however, in BMW's lineup, there are many choices for a sport utility vehicle, ranging all the way from the X1 to the X6. But let's go ahead and see if there's still a purpose for this little SUV in BMW's lineup and check out this 2016 BMW X3. Now as far as styling goes on the X3, it's very unmistakably BMW. You have traditional styling cues like the twin kidney grill design. And you may even mistake the X3 for an X5 or an, even an X1 if you don't know your BMW models very well. But I think the vehicle is fairly handsome overall. Now here goes the key fob for the X3. I like this blue trim surrounding the buttons. Pretty nice. Overall, fairly stylish, but not the most stylish key fob I've seen. You do have your unlock, your lock to release your power tailgate, and then your panic button. Now our X3 we have here essentially comes with the M Sport package, which gives you this really nice aerodynamic kit, which makes this X3 a little bit more special than the typical one. And then you also do have these pretty good looking, fairly stylish 19 inch light alloy wheels. Our X3 also does have the X-Drive all wheel drive system too. Now it is the Alpine white exterior color, one of BMW's most well known colors. You also do have smart key access on the driver's door and the front passenger door. also comes with this really nice black Nevada leather interior. Power driver's seat with power recline, power lumbar. And you also do have power adjustable side bolsters too. And memory seat settings for two people. Now stepping on inside of the X3 here, you're greeted with a fairly stylish design overall. It is getting slightly long in the tooth however, but a full redesign of the X3 is supposed to be coming very soon. And since we do have the M Sport package, it comes with this nice M steering wheel. And then you also do have this nice brushed aluminum trim too. Of course, you do have push button start. Just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. And what you're hearing there is BMW's 2 liter twin turbo inline 4 cylinder. Now you do have a full leather wrap steering wheel. The steering wheel rim is actually pretty big too, I have to say. It's a little too big for my hands. Now coming to your transmission, you have an 8-speed Steptronic automatic transmission and in typical BMW fashion, you go up for reverse and then putting the vehicle into reverse tilts down the mirrors and then you also do have a rear view camera with guidance lines and trajectory too. And you also do have rear parking sensors as you can hear it right now. You can also change different settings of the rear view camera including the contrast, the brightness, and if you want the parking aid lines on or off and the obstacle markings. Pretty nice. You also do have manual shiftability via the paddle shifters. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lights and the hazards too. All windows are fully automatic in the X3. And let's go ahead and pop up the hood, check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators.
by Xenon headlights with LED daytime running lights and LED fog lights. Love the M Sport package it comes with, makes it look much more aggressive. You also do have front parking sensors as well. Now essentially under the hood here we have BMW's 2 liter twin power turbo 4 cylinder producing 240 horsepower at 5000 RPM and 260 pound feet of torque at 1450 RPM with the EPA estimates being a reasonable 21 in the city and 28 on the highway. The X3 can be rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. And then your optional powertrains do include a 2 liter turbo 4 cylinder diesel or a 3 liter inline 6 cylinder turbo. And it also does run on premium electric fuel and all powertrains are had with an 8 speed automatic transmission. Overall you will find that this powertrain does provide a decent amount of power and is certainly potent enough and yet reasonably fuel efficient. Now the BMW X3's main competitors do include the Audi Q5, the Mercedes-Benz GLK, as well as the Lexus NX. Pricing for the X3 starts at the S-Drive 28i model, which starts at $38,500. This X-Drive 28i model starts at $40,500. The X-Drive 35i model starts at $45,500 and then finally the X-Drive 28D starts at $42,000. Coming to the rear of the X3. You have rear reflectors, rear window wiper with a rear window defroster, LED third brake light on the top, and then a shark fin antenna as well. Like I said, EPA estimates are 21 city, 28 highway. Total vehicle price is $51,750. All of your basic powered amenities, power windows, power mirrors, and your power door locks. Nice soft touch armrest with nice stitching too. We also do have power folding exterior mirrors. The price is a little expensive. It's a little more expensive than most rivals in the class. And let's go ahead and rev it up. Very nice. Doesn't sound too shabby. Now even though this is BMW, one of BMW's least expensive SUVs, the build quality and materials are fairly good. You have nice soft touch materials up here on the upper door panel, mid door panel, nice stitching too, and on the armrest as well. Of course the dashboard is this really nice padded material. Build quality is excellent. There's not many panel gaps inside of here. And then this is also a nice soft touch portion too. But this is what you expect out of BMW. Solid build quality and materials. Now coming to the steering wheel design, this is certainly one of BMW's older steering wheel designs and it's getting a little long in the tooth. I would love to see 
their newer steel wheel design on the X3 here. But you do have your cruise control buttons. And then over here you have your steering wheel mounted audio controls, voice recognition, and your Bluetooth phone controls. I also really do love the nice range of adjustment that the tilting and the telescoping offers. Lots of a range of adjustment there. And then we also do have rain sensing windshield wipers. As far as visibility goes in the X3, it's actually pretty good. The latest automotive trend nowadays is to have sloping roof lines and everything, but the X3 is sort of a boxy SUV, kind of, and the glass area is just really excellent. Lots of glass area on the front windows, outward visibility is pretty good. Rearward visibility can be a lot worse. Now, it's certainly not the best rearward visibility for an SUV, but it certainly can be a lot worse and I'm actually surprised on how big that little rear window is back there. But overall visibility is not too shabby. As far as the seating comfort goes, the seats are fairly comfortable and then the side bolsters do offer a decent amount of support and we do have these adjustable side bolsters here. Thigh support is also pretty excellent. I can't complain about that at all. I would certainly take this vehicle on a long road trip. Now coming down here of course you do have your cup holders with a sliding lid and then you have your different driver selectable modes. You have your eco mode and then your sport mode. Now I'll get a little more in depth on that a little later in the video. And then you have your traction control off button. Coming right here you have your downhill assist and then your parking sensors button too. And then right here is your electronic parking brake. Center console lid is also nice and soft touch and stitched. There's an okay amount of center console storage but for an SUV I would like it to be a little bit more. You do have a USB port down there and then an auxiliary input as well as a 12 volt power outlet. Now coming to your climate controls this isn't the most complicated system in the world it's pretty easy to figure out overall and I love how they didn't go with touch sensitive buttons here and everything is on these buttons right here it's not like you have to go to the system, infotainment system to control some of your climate functions and then control some of them down here too. All of it's right here. And it's pretty easy within reach. It's pretty ergonomically correct too. It's facing slightly towards the driver as well. But you do have dual zone automatic climate control. Here's your temperatures. This is for the driver and then this is for the passenger. Three staged heated seats for the driver and passenger as well. Your different zones. Very easy to do. And then your fan speeds. I'm actually fairly surprised German vehicles typically have very complicated controls, but that's pretty easy to do. Now coming up here, you do have your auto dimming rear view mirror with garage home link. SOS safety connects as well. Interior illumination lighting. And we also do have a panoramic sunroof with a sliding shade. Pretty nice little feature to have there. Definitely gives the cabin a much more open, airy feel. I love how the headliner is black too, and it's also fairly high quality. Now, coming to the gauges for the X3, they're fairly simple, fairly basic too but it gets the job done without hassle. You do have your RPM gauge right there, then your speedometer, and then your fuel gauge. And then coming down there, we also do have your exterior temperature readout, your trip odometer, and then also something's pretty interesting, you can actually change the different radio station from here and then your different media source as well. And then this also displays what gear you're in, and then also your efficient dynamics, and if you have the auto start stop system on or off. If you do want to turn the auto start stop system off, just press on this button right here. And then the auto start stop system, basically when you come to a complete stop in the vehicle, the engine will actually shut off to save a little bit of fuel. Now let's get to the main infotainment and multimedia system here. We have the BMW iDrive system. We've seen this system many times before and they continually keep improving it year after year. 
And basically, it's all controlled by this dial right here and then these set of buttons surrounding it as well. And then this is also a touchpad too, pretty interesting there. And when you go to the main menu, basically this screen is going to pop up. If you go to multimedia here, basically you can go to all your different multimedia sources. This includes like your CD player, DVD, and then your external devices, which is like your auxiliary input, Bluetooth streaming audio, as well as your USB port iPod integration. And then I also do love how the iDrive system has a back button. Some of its competitors don't have a back button for their infotainment system. Makes it very easy to use. Coming to your radio, of course you have AM, FM, satellite radio, all the typical stuff here. We also do have HD radio on this bad boy. Change the tone and then change your presets, of course. Down here is where you will find your presets and then your CD player. And then your on and off button for your radio. Coming to telephone, you can hook up your Bluetooth phone. Have all of your stored contacts on there. And then have an integrated little dial pad. And then show your receive calls and then your redial too. I also do love how the iDrive system, it also always at pretty much all times shows your entertainment details too so you don't have to always go back to radio or your multimedia and then you also do have your digital clock right there as well coming to navigation let's go to your map the map is fairly clear and easy to read and the graphics and the rendering are pretty good too if you go onto this little side right here, you can show your different routes, POIs, which is points of interest, traffic info. We also do have live traffic and live weather on this bad boy. Your interactive map, and then you can also change your different map views. I love how the iDrive system is very crisp and clear too. Then you can also look at your last destinations, your points of interest address book and your store trips if you let's go and enter in an address let's go to the state california then house number you can do it by voice and then you can also do it by the touchpad too one pretty interesting there too Coming to office over here, you have your contacts and then your notes. BMW connected drive gives you your roadside assistance, customer relations, and then your service center. Coming to vehicle info, you can go to your owner's manual, onboard info, your trip computer, your vehicle status, like your tire pressure monitoring system. A lot of that stuff will usually, on other vehicles, be displayed up on the gate right near the gauges in the instrument cluster but BMW decided to put it on their iDrive system engine oil lever lo, level sorry about that and then your service required your sport displays like your power and your torque your all-wheel drive system status which BMW likes to call it their xDrive system gives you your direction of travel pretty nice gives you a bunch of vehicle info gives you also a graph a bar graph of your MPG there's also many different settings you can change as well like your instrument cluster time and date your touchpad settings, tone, speed, climate, lighting, lots of stuff. You also do have ambient lighting in this vehicle as well. Overall, I really do love the iDrive system and it's certainly one of the best infotainment multimedia systems in the business now. You really couldn't say that about the iDrive system about 10 years ago, however. 
Driving the X3 is certainly a joy to drive and it's one of the most entertaining compact luxury crossovers to drive too. The steering is fairly responsive overall and it's actually pretty nimble and you really can feel for where this vehicle is trying to go. Power from the 2 liter turbo 4 cylinders is also pretty adequate as well and you don't feel like you need more power and this vehicle really doesn't feel anemic at all but if you do want more power that 3 liter 6 cylinder turbo is available now the ride quality is also pretty supple overall as well even with this M Sport package we do have here with the larger 19 inch light alloy wheels and it soaks up road bumps and road imperfections with luxury car ease so overall, the X3 certainly has a decent balance between good handling as well as good ride quality too. Right here you also do have your different modes. Like I said, you do have a sport mode and when you click on the sport mode that little screen pops up right there and then it shows you your power and your torque. Click on your Eco Pro mode and then it gives you your efficiency oriented settings you can look at your consumption history efficient dynamics info and your eco pro tips basically it's the most fuel efficient setting if you're trying to save a little bit of fuel and then you also do have a comfort mode too alright and let's go ahead and shut down the X3 let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle Build quality and materials of course do follow through in the rear. Still nice and soft touch on the armrest, nice and stitched everywhere. Now sitting back here you will actually find it to be very comfortable and pretty spacious too. The X3 is certainly one of the most spacious um, compact luxury crossovers. We also do have dual map pockets rear air vents and a 12 volt power outlet and a little storage cubby down there and of course you do have a rear center armrest with cup holders love that panoramic sunroof as well the seats themselves are also really comfortable I would certainly sit back here for a long road trip they're just a little firm however but that's my only complaint and it's very minor too these seats are fairly comfortable overall all right power tailgate now there's actually a generous amount of cargo capacity back here of course the rear seats also do fold down and then we also do have a cargo cover and a little storage cubby right here to fold the rear seats down just go like that and then push the seats right down fairly easy to do and then we also do have a little charging station right there 12 volt power outlet all right Full powered passenger seat with power recline, power lumbar, and power adjustable side bolsters. I was actually very surprised about that. Here's your glove box compartment, nice and damp and lined with felt, just how it should be. And you also do have a little storage cubby right there. So the 2016 BMW X3 is certainly one of the top choices in the class for a compact luxury crossover. With its very nimble and capable handling, its potent engine lineup, as well as its very spacious and very comfortable interior and many options available, it's just certainly one of the best choices. However, if you are on a budget, this may not be the best choice. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.